Solutions to Adaptive Shooting exhibits how brave people with extreme disabilities have solved their own issues of adaptive shooting. The purpose of this video is to give hunters with disabilities an idea of what would work best for them. Since every device and design will not work for every situation, we recommend consulting your physicians and rehabilitation counselors to decide what is the best solution for you. Doctors, rehabilitation professionals, and skilled fabricators can then get involved to help create a solution for their adaptive shooting needs. Buckmaster's American Deer Foundation wants to thank all the sportsmen with disabilities who contributed to this project. Now, let's go meet some of these courageous people. Well, in 1984, I sustained a spinal cord injury from a diving accident and had a spinal lesion between the third and fourth cervical vertebrae that resulted in paralysis from the shoulders down. Um, I, before my accident, I was an avid deer hunter, rabbit hunter, squirrel hunter, anything I could possibly hunt, I would. And um, after several years after my accident, I came to the conclusion that I probably wasn't going to be able to deer hunt anymore. So I enjoyed the videos and the pictures and the stories my dad and my brothers would tell when they came back from their hunting trips. And so that kind of filled that void for me. But in 1995, Bill and I were invited to a dinner and after the dinner, Bill came up and we struck up a conversation and he thought that he may be able to build a device that would enable me to start deer hunting again. And I was really taken back. I had come to the conclusion and was comfortable with the thought of not being able to hunt, but I told him if he'll build it, I'll do my best to try and fulfill a, a dream that both of us ended up having for several years. And we would, we'd now like to show you the device. Then under the chair, there's a bracket that uh, the crossbow slides into. And it's kind of bolted under the chair, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in for you right now. Swing it out here. This is a uh, electronically activated uh, trigger mechanism. So there is a, a solenoid in here that's activated by, by the 12 volt battery. There is a uh, tube here you see, which is pressure activated switch. When Jeff blows into the tube, it tr triggers the switch and then fires the bow. So there's a chin, uh, chin piece that fits Jeff's chin and then I can adjust the bow forward, backward, up or down. It also has tension adjustments here so the bow is not too loose or too tight on all its axes. So uh, Jeff's able to aim the bow real fluidly. We've got some um, rubber vibration dampening devices here on the bow to reduce the noise and um, it's just worked out really well. Okay. From the side here, this is kind of the side view, um, we have a, uh, basically this is a, a swivel type of joint that we made and the bow pivots on its axis here and then also turns on this bearing here. Then the bow comes down and it's to a bracket that's bolted under Jeff's chair so it's really pretty basic how it attaches. It's really quick and simple. Um, after we attach the bow, Jeff's pretty much ready to hunt. We've been able to harvest five doe, and it has also rekindled the embers that have, burning with, that have burned within me for the years that I wasn't able to hunt, and I knew that this is something that I really wanted to do. During that time also, Bill and I always talked about wanting to get a buck and on December 3rd, 2000, our dream finally came true. It's not going to go in the record books, but it's a trophy to us and we hope that everyone has an opportunity to get out in the woods, 
for the love of nature, for the love of the sport of hunting. And, and now we would like to show some video that Bill took during the production of the crossbow. Have a great hunt, everyone, and thank you once again. God bless you. These are the three pieces of aluminum stock that we use to uh, 